Well, I liked what you posted earlier today, David, that we're on a slope to fall temperatures. Oh. But, how, yeah. but how steep is the slope is well, my question. It's yes. like this. <laughs> yeah. It tapers off. Uh, but uh, ever since the spring equinox, when basically when we turn the page going into spring, our average temperatures just keep climbing. They yeah. peak out. The peak was yesterday. And then today, our average temperatures drop off a little bit as we go okay. through the next several weeks, all the way that. through fall and winter. Nice. So, yeah. And the days are getting shorter. We talked about that yeah. last night at 10 o'clock. So Yeah. It's almost dark, like at 8.30, 8.35, you know. know. So, well, anyway. I was noticing a little bit cooler this morning, it was. Too, which was nice. Yeah. The nights are getting longer, and the days are getting shorter, so you cool off more at night, and you're not as hot during the day. So that's part of this whole thing, you know, bringing those temperatures down. And rainfall, pretty pathetic, pretty sad for the month of July. Wow left that in the rearview mirror that was brutal uh so hot so dry and uh, now we're into august and guess what the the hits just coming keep coming 0.22 that's it just less than a quarter of an inch in oklahoma city so far this summer we average like july right at 3.6 inches of rain and yeah hopefully next week we will put a little bit of a dent in that and bring some rain up into the rain gauge 95 degrees in oklahoma city it's hot, an east wind at 10, our humidity right now 30%, dew points are running in the upper 50s. Part of our Pike Pass, Sky Cam Network, our Regency Cam, looking good, looking good. We're gonna be downtown next couple of months, folks. We are moving downtown, hang on. 95 in Watonga, how about 94 in Stillwater? 97 down in Purcell, 95 over in Seminole, the rest of Oklahoma, lots of 90s. Normal high today in Oklahoma City is 93 degrees, so we're a little bit above that. Low 90s across the north, you're normal there. And then down south, some upper 90s with a few 100s mixed in. But notice how, again, the last, you know, four or five days, no 100s. A few, but not many. Heat index right now running in the mid to upper 90s. All right, so the heat dome, the center of it, it's been around all summer off and on, but uh, the center of it is just to our west. The monsoon's been good. They've had some nice rains. I'll give it up to them. New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, Nevada. Uh, they've had some crazy flooding out here, actually. We don't like flooding, but they need the rain. And they've been getting some. The monsoon's been good, but the heat dome for us wins out, right? We don't have the, the channel of moisture coming up to the Rockies like they do out there. So we're kind of left high and dry. Well, that's going to be changing. So the heat dome gets a little bit stronger through the weekend into next week. Monday and Tuesday will be hot. Highs into the 100s. And then as we get into the end of next week, we're going to bring in energy from the north. And we'll bring in a couple of waves of energy, and that'll give us a couple of chances of showers and storms off and on. We're not going to end the drought. We're not talking highs in the 70s. It is still August, but temperatures will drop into the 80s, hopefully for more than a day or two. And uh, we'll bring in a chance of rain and storms, at least off and on. So it's not fall, but it's something. And it's better than going to 105 for three or four or five days. So there goes, or there is the heat dome, and there goes the heat dome, sets up in the west. But the rain chances will be there as we get into the middle and end of next week and also into the following weekend. So, yeah, I like what I'm seeing still. I wish we could pick up a ton of rain, and there's a lot of time between now and then, so we'll fine-tune this forecast. But uh, still looks, looks, looks much better. All right, so lows tonight, 64 in Ponca City, 69 in Oklahoma City. Nice, cool morning. We get up in the morning, yeah, morning walk, jog, whatever. Looks good. 70 in Ardmore. Then for tomorrow, back up into the mid-90s. We'll have a southeast wind, lots of sunshine. Tomorrow looks just about like today. Now, Saturday, a degree or two hotter on Saturday, 100 in Alva, 100 in Altus. Start to see a few more 100s beginning to pop up. This evening looks good downtown, whatever you're doing this evening, 90s going into the 80s. Not a whole lot of wind. We're bone dry. And your average temperatures, right, look like this. Above average all the way into Tuesday, we get hotter. And then we cool it off for the middle and end of next week. And here's what I'm talking about. Highs near 100, Sunday, Monday, 99 on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, right at 100. Chance for showers and storms Tuesday, Wednesday. Highs in the 80s on Wednesday. Thursday right now, high of 92, then some low 90s after that. But it's a nice cool down with rain and storms. Here we go.